Okay, so first we want to prove that uh, the strict preference relation is irreflexive. So this happens pretty quickly. So first we'll uh, let our weak preference relation be rational. And then due to completeness, notice that for this y, in the definition, we don't have anything saying that this y can't be the same as this x. So that means um, by completeness, um, for all x in x, we have x is weakly preferred to x, or x is weakly preferred to x. I know this is a little weird, um, but I, maybe it's easier to see because you can see that all we've done is replace this y with x. So all that this says is basically that there does not exist um, an x such that x is weakly preferred to x and not x weakly preferred to x. So since this, if we remember, this right here is um, just showing that this, this definition can never hold. Meaning that uh, the strict preference cannot be reflexive. So what we just showed is that this is irreflexive. So now we want to show that uh, the strict preference relation is transitive. So. Okay, so let's start here. Assume that uh, our preference relation, weak preference relation, is rational again, and let's let x be preferred to y and y preferred to z. So we want to show that x is strictly preferred to z. So by the definition of the strict preference relation and the transitivity of the weak preference relation, um, this gives us that x is weakly preferred to z. Um, we went through this sort of in the first problem we did, the, the first part of this problem. Um, so, sorry, 1.1, 1.b.1, 1. 1, 1, where uh, by definition this tells us that x is weakly preferred to y, and by definition this tells us that y is weakly preferred to z, and then all you're doing is applying transitivity to get this. So, we so we have the first half of this definition. We have that x is strictly or er, weakly preferred to z. So now we we want to show that not z weakly preferred to x. So we'll do contradiction again. By way of contradiction, assume this, we're maintaining this assumption that we have here, so by way of contradiction assume this is true, and z is weakly preferred to x. Then x is weakly preferred to y, y is weakly preferred to z, and z is weakly preferred to x. So by transitivity, this gives us that y is weakly preferred to z, and z is weakly preferred to y. So this contradicts, this is a contradiction, uh, because we have the assumption that y is strictly preferred to z. 
we have this. So this can't be true because the definition of y being strictly preferred to z is this and not this. So this gives us a contradiction. So that tells us that um, x being strictly preferred to y and y being strictly preferred to z implies that not z strictly or weakly preferred to x, which is basically saying what we wanted to show. Um, the strict preference relation is transitive. And just to be clear, we showed right here. This was this followed really easily. And then by doing this, we showed that it must be the case that we have not z weakly preferred to x, which shows which just is the definition of the strict preference relation being transitive. So that's that for that part.